Hello, hello, hello. I'm here to talk about the reason why you have a lot of these relationships and marriages that are not working. When you think about 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, the Bible clearly tells us, do not become unevenly yoked with non-believers. Do not, you know, become mismatched. So we know that the Bible says very clearly that a man is supposed to take the lead. And when it's speaking about the lead, it's talking about the spiritual lead. You have so many women who they don't take that into consideration when they're picking their partners. They say that they're Christian women. They claim that they have biblical morals and biblical values, but yet look at the type of toxic dudes that they pick. Instead of picking men that are on God and Jesus Christ team, they will go out there and pick someone who's on Satan, the devil's team. And then they want to complain about how no good this man is, how toxic he is, how uh, this, et cetera, et cetera, you know, but you know, I'm thinking about my relationships, my marriages. Let me just use this as an example. The reasons why my marriages did not work is because I wanted to live right and I wanted to do right. And they didn't. Now, when I picked these people that I brought in my life, they knew they had to have Bible studies and they knew that they had to have go to Christian meetings. And they did, they did do it, but they did it, you know, just to get to, to they didn't do it for the right reasons. You see? But each day we live and we learn, we live and we learn, you know, we're supposed to. So when I, like I said, I don't tolerate nobody cheating on me. I just, I just won't do it because I don't deserve it. Another point I want to bring out before this runs out is you have a lot of women who are putting men through so much, you know, they have mood swings. These women are abusing these men emotionally and mentally. Maybe that, that's, that, that. That's the reason why they're willing to put up with it. Me, on the other hand, I did not put my partners through emotional and mental abuse. I am consistent with my moods. I don't have mood swings. I don't have that. My problem was me wanting to live right and do right. And they didn't. I wanted a Christian lifestyle and they didn't. I have biblical morals and values and they didn't. And when I see that you're not going to make my life better or you cut my throat, stab me in my back would betray you. You're done. You get no second chance.